Now, I always use the Keebler Grim Cracker Crumbs. It's fabulous, y'all. I love it. I, I will be honest with you. This is a good product. I love the product, and I buy it all the time. When I see Keebler Grim Cracker Crumbs, cr 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 I buy it, and it tastes good. So I did the crust, and it has the directions on the back on how to do it, because I had did that New York cheesecake, and I fell in love with the uh, Grim Cracker Crumbs from Creeper. So what I did, I got a, a spring pan, and then I want a tall pie. So what I did, I did half of the pie, well mostly the pie, with the tall edges. This side I did not do tall edges on this side, because I want the pie to be kind of tall, so what I'm going to do is fill the pie up tall on this side, so when we cut it, it be like a mile high pie. So I'm going to put this in the oven and let it cook for about 10 minutes because I like for the crust to be uh, sort of toasty, crummy, uh, goodness taste. Toasty, crummy, goodness taste. Ain't that something, y'all? Well, whatever. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you how I make my million dollar pie. But this is what I did with the uh, pie pan. I used a spring pan and I got half of it sort of tall on the sides and then on this side it's not tall it's sort of uh, past sides this side but it's gonna be fine you're gonna see what I'm talking about we'll be right back and show you how to do the million dollar pie Thank you. 